Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video with That's Awkward ASMR. Welcome to the full series playthrough of My Sims Agents. This game is very nostalgic for me and is probably, I would actually say, one of the most nostalgic games from my childhood. Um, I played this game a lot on the Wii. Um, our aunt had bought us a Wii. It was the first, like, gaming console I had ever had, and this was a game we, like, got from Blockbuster. I know my age is showing, but we used to rent games from Blockbuster, and this is one we rented all the time. Yeah, I was that kid. I rented the game. So we're gonna jump into a brand new game. This will be a full completed series on the channel, so you can look for the playlist, which I will link in the description, so you can watch the entire My Sims Agents playthrough. And let me know what you think about it. Without further ado, let's jump in to the game. Oh, hiya pal. I'm Buddy. You might know me as the artist behind the wildly popular Special Agent comics. What you probably don't know is that all my comics are based on real-life events. The special agent from my comics is actually my real-life best friend. Now, back before all of this special agent business started, my friend was just a neighborhood detective. They looked a little something like this. I love this game. Alright. We will... I'm gonna do... My classic look. I did this one all the time. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I accidentally didn't cycle through it. This was my classic look. You can just like select. I love these eyes. They're like real anime, but I never picked them for some reason. I always picked these eyes. And I did the smile with the braces. I don't know why that was my favorite. And I used to wear glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, you can choose your voice. I used to make my voice always be like a little deeper, you know, a little mature. I don't know why. Oh yeah, you can have like little stuff on your face too, like band-aids or little tattoos. I like doing this one. Alright, oh yeah, and then you can pick... Whoops. Accidentally. It was so funny, I used to pick this one because I didn't have... Wait, they don't have like a darker skin tone? <sighs> Call them out. Alright. So this is it, I think. Oh no, I need my clothes. Hmm, we're just a detective right now. We're kind of... I like this. I used to wear this one. This one is also kind of some Nancy Drew energy, you know? You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna go with this one, just to keep it super nostalgic. And we'll put my name in here. Let me know if any of you ever played these games. Like the My Sims games. They should come back. They're so good. The My Sims games are so good. They should come back. They should like remaster them, add more options. Back then, I was just starting out as an artist, but I would support the Tatiana Detective Agency however I could. We didn't even have our own office, but Chef Gino let us use a table in his restaurant. Well, as long as we ordered something, <laughs> Chef Gino knows how to do business. Those were simple times, but we always believed that our big break was just around the corner. I love Chef Gino. It's gonna happen, buddy. Any day now, we're going to get that big case. Yeah, but what's wrong with the cases we take now? Nothing. 
I just know we could do more. If I could just prove myself on one really big case, maybe I'd even make special agent one day. Ooh, that'd be so cool. I'm gonna draw you as a special agent. <laughs> what a real one. Buddy Buddy really is your your buddy, your best friend. Ride or die. Hey Gino, I'm looking for a summer job. Do you have any openings in your restaurant? I don't know. Are you a world famous master chef? <laughs> um no. Then I do not have any openings for you. Gino, whoa. Oh, Travis, it's okay. Solving mysteries around the neighborhood is great, but if I was a special agent, we could go anywhere. Think of it. Yeah, now I'm drawing you as a special agent on the moon. <laughs> do we go to the moon in this game? I don't think we do in this one. I can't remember. Hey guys, what's going on? Not much, Trav. Just waiting for the big next big case. Ha, huh, that's pretty good, buddy. Someday, my friend, someday. Whoa, we look so cool as a special unit. Tatiana! Tatiana! <laughs> Poppy is such a gem. Help! What's the matter, Poppy? I mean, a mean man took my dog and he won't give him back. This is a big crime. Oh my gosh, pal, this is it. Our big case. Well, I'm not sure that it's quite the career maker I was talking about. Don't worry though, Poppy. We'll take the case. Where's your dog now? He's over in the park with that meanie man. Please, come as soon as you can. Oh my. I remember when I was a kid, this shook me. I was like, I'm sorry, someone stole your dog. It really, it really got the blood boiling as a kid. Alright, buddy, I'm heading over to the park. I should talk to everybody there and see what I can piece together. I'm here if you need me, pal. Let me know if I can help. I'll work for pizza. <laughs> Alright. The best thing about this game is because it's also a Sims game. You can interact with, like, everything. It's super cool. I didn't get a gumball that time. No, we need one. We need a gumball. Whoa, two times in a row. I remember he used to do this just till I got a gumball. Well, we have a case to solve. Point here and press A. This is a tutorial when a learning opportunity arises. You'll get an alert at the top of your screen. Point at the alert and press A for full details. Now press A to continue. We can run with B. Run! Oh, look at that meanie. <laughs> hey, Poppy, so explain this dog situation to me. Well, I was minding my own business here, pruning flowers. And then my back was turned. Oh, and then when my back was turned, this bad man stole dogwood. Hmm, what nonsense. The name's Marcubus, and the little girl is quite simply a sore loser. Hello. While she spins an interesting tale, the dog is mine. And his name isn't Dogwood. It's Kale Fang, dog disciple of shadow and flame. <laughs> Dog's so cute. Dog's like, what are you talking about? No, that name is sad and bad. He's my dogwood. He's always with me and was with me right up until this bad man stole him. Ah, uh, Kilfang. See how he flocks to me? Obviously, he is mine. He has been mine since the dawn of time. <laughs> not the evil laugh at the end. No, he's not. Well, then prove it, little girl. Um, okay, well, I know Dogwood best. And he loves his pink squishy ball. Can I see this ball you're speaking about? Perhaps I can... I lost it. 
Okay, you two, let me get to the bottom of this. I'll determine who's telling the truth here. I need to find the ball. I should look around the park. I love this part that we like write down like our thoughts and it pops up like, I don't know. It's just, I love this game. This game is so, so fun. Okay, let's look around the park. We're looking for a ball. Hmm, it's just a common shrub. A boxwood, I think. Hmm, looks like there are some grubs under here. Hi, grubs. No ball. Oh, did we find it? We found it. All right, I found the ball. I found the ball, but does the dog really like it? I should bring it to him. Okay, dogwood slash kelfang. Your boy, do you like the bouncy ball? Woof. The dog likes playing with the ball, just as Poppy said. Perhaps this is Poppy's dog after all. You know what's so wild? If we live in this town, would we not know that's Poppy's dog? <laughs> like, wouldn't everyone know that's Poppy's dog, hands down? I'll have to find more clues. Perhaps Prince would tell the story. Magnifying glass. <gasps> Ooh. The Prince showed the dog walking this way of his own free will. There's no evidence of dog napping. Is Marcus innocent? Ooh, one for one. Or are those Poppy's prints? Hmm, her footprints are going to the pizzeria. Did Poppy eat lunch during all this? We're gonna have to go find out. Oh, open the case book. This is the case book. As you find leads, they appear here. If you ever get stuck or you're not sure what to do, the case book will point you in the right direction. Okay, so we have to question Morcubus. Morcubus, does he have proof? I'll need more details. We have to interview Chef Gino. Hmm, her footprints are going to the pizzeria. Did Bobby eat lunch during all this? And investigate the dog. The dog seems overly excited, but why? Okay, good to know. We'll talk to Chef Gino since we're here. Hi, Gino. Have you seen Poppy and her dog recently? Poppy? Why, yes. She came in here just recently to eat lunch. I see. And did you see her with her? Her dog with her? Her dog? No, I didn't see her with a dog. I didn't see a dog with her. Thank you very much, Gino. Poppy lied. But why? Is she covering for something? Whoa, Poppy. Why would you lie about that? Poppy, about your visit to Gino's. Early on, you said that the dog was always with you. But I spoke with Gino, and he claims that you went into his pizzeria to get lunch, and he didn't see a dog with you. Oh, yes, it's true. I left Dogwood by himself, but it was just for a moment, I promise. My big sister Violet said that I'm too young to take care of a dog, and I didn't want her to disappoint her. That's why I lied. That's okay, Poppy. But remember, I'm trying to help you. I need to know the truth. Poppy, that's terrible. Lying is wrong and just makes you look guilty. I mean, I kind of want to tell Poppy the truth and be like, it's just, it's making you look bad. But we'll be, we'll be kind. We'll be kinder in the way we say it. Okay, sorry, Tatiana. Poppy lied about abandoning Dogwood. What else might she be lying about? She's acting suspiciously. Oh my... Okay, let's ask Dogwood what's up. Here, boy, I have some questions for you. Yep. Why are you freaking out over here, boy? Is it because you love Morcubus? Grr, yep, yep. Oh, you don't seem to like him. What is it, then? Yep, 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 drool. Oh, yeah, something over there? Okay, I think... The dog isn't here for Morcubus. He's anxious and hanging around this wall. I wonder if he's looking for something behind Gino's pizzeria. Oh, let's ask Marcubus. So, Marcubus, what do you know about the dog's habits? First off, the dog is named Gilfang. Secondly, he loves destroying bones. Is this what you, the owner, normally let him do? Ha ha ha. 
Why, yes, my work provides me with many leftover bones to give to my stalwart mutt. All right, then, we'll see how much he enjoys them. I'll be back. Chewing bones? Interesting. I'll have to test that claim. I gotta find a bone. Where are we gonna find a bone? The garbage? Maybe. Mm, yep, filled with trash. Hmm. Filled with trash. Dumpster dive. If a dog wants to like... If a dog was to like any bone, it would be this one. I got a bone, but that's only half the test. Okay, maybe this is what dog would want. Or, sorry, slash Kelfang on the other side of the fence. Here, boy, have a bone. Grrr. The dog didn't like chewing on the bone, even though Morcubus said he would. A strike against Morcubus. Oh my gosh, they're tied. It's coming down to the wire. Maybe there's something else back here. Ooh, whip crowbar. Examine. It's filled with cookware. Hmm, cheese. I love cheese. Looks like the crate is filled with jerky. I'll just take one. <gasps> Was the dog after this jerky? I need to find out. Yo. Gino's breadsticks come from a package. It's hard to believe he buys them at the store. They're delicious. <gasps> oh my gosh. We can't let everyone know about what we know about Gino. Let's see. Here, boy. Is this jerky what you were looking for? Nom, 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 nom. The dog was just interested in the smell of jerky, not hanging in around Morcubus. Poppy is the real owner. I should report back to Poppy with the results of my investigation. Poppy, I've solved the case. That's great. <laughs> I'm not him just laughing in the corner so evilly. Dogwood definitely belongs to Poppy. Hooray! Come here, Dogwood. Here, boy. Oh. This is an outrage. I demand an explanation. You told me that Dogwood loves chewing bones, but clearly he does not. What? Who doesn't love chewing on bones? It was Poppy who identified Dogwood's favorite toy, this pink ball. <laughs> Look, Dogwood loves that ball. But that little girl lied about me taking the dog. He just walked up to me. He was just hungry. He only walked your way because he was trying to get over to Gino's jerky. feel pretty clever, don't you, detective? Well, don't. You've made a very powerful enemy today. It's just a dog. <laughs> I don't care about the dog. That was just entertainment. But you... You tried to make me look like a fool. We didn't try to do anything, trust me. I didn't do anything except find the truth. The truth is you'll rue the day you crossed... The Infernal Morcubus! <laughs> they're absolute, they're running away. Yikes, what's the deal with that guy? I better head back to Gino's. That was such a good save your game. Be a good time to save the game. Okay. Nice. Now her progress is saved. Alright, let's go back to Gino's. Oh, 
Who's that? Hi, can I help you? Very impressive, Tatiana. Most people wouldn't stand up to Morcubus like that. Who's this Morcubus guy anyway? What's the big deal? He's the CEO of Morcucorp, which owns most of this city. He's one of the most powerful men in the world. I was just helping a little girl get her dog back. Right, you're a detective, aren't you? I love how this person's name is Walker, like typical Asian name. And a pretty good one, according to your application. Wait, who are you? How do you know about my application to the Sim Protection Agency? To the spa, SPA. You're a special agent. You're with the spa, or SPA. Special Agent Walker, pleased to meet you, Tatiana. I'm here to open a new branch of the spa in the city. Really? Well, I'm happy to help in any way I can. Well, that's good news, since I'm approving your application. You are going to be this city's special agent. What? what? Really? I got the job? Ha ha ha! I told you this would be our big case, pal. I'll have to start you off as a junior, ag as junior agent. You'll solve a few cases around the city while I observe. But I want to promote you fully to special agent as soon as you're ready. The agency needs someone who's willing to take a stand against Morcubus. Why? Is he stealing more dogs? <laughs> oh, to be honest, we're not sure what he's doing. He's far too smart to get his own hands dirty, but he has associates all over the city. They're looking for something, we just don't know what. If Morcubus wants it that badly, though, it can't be good. Alright, sign me up. I'll do everything I can. I know you will, Agent Tatiana. So what should I do first? For now, go get some rest. Come back here tomorrow and calm the city for new cases to work. And keep your eyes open for anything that might lead back to Morcubus. It's a big- ooh. Okay, buddy, today's the big- today's the day. Our destiny lies just down those stairs. Let's get down there and find some fresh cases. Alright, we gotta become a special agent. Any, any cases? Anything in the news, Louis? Oh, hey, Tatiana, did you hear? Dogwood was almost dognapped. I sure am glad that someone was there to help Poppy out. I was, because I'm a special agent. Well, I'm just an agent, but... A case. What's wrong, Shirley? Somebody left me some mysterious flowers. Will you help me out, hun? I'm on the case. Wonderful, hun. I have something I want to show you. Here's what I wanted to show you. Someone knocked on the door, but when I opened it, I just found these flowers. Looks like you have a secret admirer, Shirley. We gotta find out who it is, hun. In case you ain't noticed, I usually don't like to do things subtle. <laughs> I love Shirley, too. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Poppy. Hiya, Tatiana. Do you recognize this bouquet? Of course, that's the number 27, the secret love bouquet. Oh yeah, because Poppy's the florist. Well, who did you sell it to, hon? Today? Um, Gino, and Patrick, and Mayor Skip. They all bought the secret love bouquet? It's a popular bouquet. Alright, looks like I need to investigate Gino, Patrick, and Skip. Uh, I'd be fine with any of them. <laughs> Did the admirer leave any evidence around Shirley's storefront? I should question the suspects about the flowers they bought. Let's investigate the crime scene. These are the flowers left for Shirley. Very pretty. It looks like someone has been rustling around in these bushes. Was someone hiding here? Where did the person who messed up the salon's flower beds go to? Let's see. 
Uh-oh, looks like the footprints are fading away. Perhaps I can pick them up again at a nearby grassy area? Okay. Oh, into a construction zone. Patrick's footprints were found outside the salon bushes. Ooh. The prints lead to Patrick's trailer. Why would he have been in Shirley's flower bed? Let's ask him. Is this Patrick? I think it is. Did you buy flowers? Sure did. I ordered them yesterday. Ordered them for delivery? Yep, but they never came. All I got was a form from the city board, a flower re requisition, whatever that is. What? A flower requisition form? Can I see it? Sure, if you can find it. I didn't open it, just toss it somewhere in my trailer. Maybe this city board of flower requisition is connected? That form needs to be in the trailer somewhere. I think we have to still ask Patrick some questions. Were you hiding in the salon bushes? I wasn't hiding. I fell off the roof into those bushes. Why were you on the salon's roof? Fixing the air conditioning. My tool chest should still be up there. If you need proof... Can I find any evidence to support Patrick's story on the salon roof? Okay, let's search. Patrick must keep all of his contracts inside, or knowing him, he might just keep its pizza coupons in here. How many yellow hats does this guy need? Trash, maybe? Ah, it's the letter. Dear Mr. Rhino, we are waiting to writing to inform you that the City Board of Flower Requisitions has confiscated your order of flowers two to hard times. What? Two to hard times. Thank you for your understanding. I need to talk to Mayor Skip about these flower confiscations. The blueprints for Patrick's building. Looks like it has some large underground spaces planned. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what Patrick was doing on the roof. Um, how do we get on the roof? Oh, oh there's like a little thing here. What's in here? Maybe someone's moving and using crates to pick up their stuff? Hmm. Can we get on top somehow? Oh. Here? Oh, we can climb all the buildings. We can't jump high enough. Like, I thought maybe we could use the trash can to get out. This is cute. I'm allergic to sunflowers, but the seeds are sure delicious. Oh. Oh, a little chest. You've unlocked new outfits. Casual street clothes are perfect for both a bright spring day or crisp fall afternoon. These pants make me feel like a real detective. We're unlocking outfits. Let's go. Oh, almost fell off. Oh, it is here. Yep, Patrick's tool chest is up here, just as he said. I guess Patrick's alibi checks out. Yep. Can we just jump down? <laughs> We're fine. Alright, let's stop at Juno's before we go to the mayor's. Because Juno also was being, uh, is a suspect for having bought a bouquet. Juno, did you buy any flowers from Poppy? Yes, I did, roses. Oh, really? Why did you buy them? Some romantic interest, perhaps? Yes, it was very romantic. I used the rose petals to decorate my newest pizza experiment, the Paris pizza. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I should find this pe Paris pizza of Gino's, just to be sure. Well, there it is. A flower pizza. Gino didn't leave his flowers on Shirley's doorstep. 
Gino's clear. Let's go, Gino. <laughs> I think we have to go... I think the mirror is this way. It's one of these buildings. The Jeremy Snores Cultural Museum. I'll pass. Maybe it's this building. This building looks a bit grand. Yeah, it must be. City Hall. Let's ask the mayor what's up. Oh, what? <laughs> this mayor has a gold tooth and everything. Um, did you buy any flowers from Poppy, Mr. Mayor? I sure did. They're right over there in that vase. Or vase. Are the flowers really in Skip's office? Oh, yeah, they are. They're identical. These are the flowers from Poppy. Skip must not have given them to Shirley. Alright, let's ask Skip about... Skip, tell me about this City Board of Flower Requisition. What? Yes, that's totally a branch of our government. So, you requisition Patrick's flowers for the city? I never said any such thing. No, the CPFR has nothing to do with me. Indeed. Is there any evidence to be found in Skip's office proving he's got his hands on Patrick's bouquet? I bet this filing cabinet is filled with all sorts of boring mare stuff. Hmm, this here reminds me of an elderly morcubus. Perhaps this guy was a relative? Oh. You can bash it? <laughs> Take that, morcubus. <laughs> Okay. Investigate. These books look like they've never been taken off the shelf. Wait a second. What do we have here? Oh my. Alright. Oh, it's locked. The thing is, this thing is expensive. How dare I ask? Does the mayor afford such niceties on a public servant's salary? This dude's corrupt. Look at him. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, we can't ask about the... Okay. Hmm. Is there any proof? <gasps> Maybe the computer? Do you think he'll mind? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Blast! Skip's files are encrypted. Can Skip's computer be hacked? I remember the hacking was so hard. Time to get hacking. Select the question button in the bottom for a quick lesson. To begin hacking, move to the start node and hit A, then trace the highlighted path with the Wii remote. You'll hit question nodes as you go. This will change the highlighted path, so stay alert. Feel confident? Hit B to speed things up. To succeed, reach the final node before time runs out. Be careful, as straying f off the path will cause the timer to drain faster. I am not looking forward to this, no lie. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, we got it. I was, uh, like, that one is difficult for me. Mayor Rogers formed a fake civic bureau to requisition Patrick's flowers. What a random and gratuitous abuse of power. Skip covered his tracks by hiding a bouquet in his office while also tracking, taking Patrick's flowers. Or taking Patrick's. He could have left one of them at Shirley's. Ooh. Should we confront him? Let's confront him. Hey, Skip. What do you think of Shirley? Um, she's, um, yes. Um, she does a really great job with my hair. Hmm. Suspicious. Did the admirer leave any evidence around Shirley's storefront? Oh, maybe there's something else we were supposed to find. Oh, whoops. Let's see. Maybe I missed something. Oh, I just, I didn't, I did not say that before. You found a handwritten love note addressed to Shirley. It must have blown off the doorstep before she noticed it. 
Shirley's no no love note was handwritten. If only I had handwriting samples from all the men. <gasps> okay, we'll start with getting a handwriting sample from Patrick, then Jano, then the mayor. Because I have a feeling it's the mayor. <laughs> He's sus. Uh, hey Patrick, I found your tools on Shirley's roof. Oh, I didn't realize we were supposed to check in. Yeah, I have to go back later and finish up, but I got hungry. Can I get a sample of your handwriting? I have to write all sorts of stuff on my blueprints. You might want to check there. Thanks, Patrick. Patrick has some of his handwriting on these blueprints, but they don't match the love no. Patrick's handwriting doesn't match the love no. Alright, Patrick's completely clear. Let's see. I'm sure, I think Gino might be clear too. Gino didn't even use the flowers for anything except for his special Paris pizza. Can I get a sample of your handwriting? Handwriting? Like my handwritten daily specials list I used to advertise outside my restaurant? That would work. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Gino. This? Here's a great sample of Gino's handwriting. It doesn't match the note, though. I guess Gino didn't write the love note. Then we know who did. Mr. Sussy Pants. <laughs> Mayor Skip. Can I see some of your handwriting? Why, I keep all of my forms in my safe, but you're not allowed in there. I wonder if Skip will give me the combo to the safe. I'd like the combination here safe, please. Certainly not. That combination is a secret. I only open it in private. Skip won't open the safe while I'm in the office. I should go outside and find a place where I can watch him open it. Ooh, good thinking. That's detective thinking. I wonder if I could catch the combo if I walked through that window. Oh, the one upstairs? Oh, we're gonna have to climb buildings again. I could get there by climbing on those awnings and ledges. I bet I could get a good view of the safe from that window ledge. I need to find a way up there. Okay. Oh. Jack in the box. I wonder what it could be. Where I could put this to surprise someone. These lively patterns span a range of styles. We got paints and stuff. A suspicious unmarked van. My detective senses tingling. Ooh. We can bash it. Well, good to know that truck is sturdy. <laughs> oh, whoops. Discarded car parts. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, I almost fell. I want this little chest. I think it just gives you clothes and stuff, which is cool. Small collection of paints that range from brick to wood to cow. All right. I see any, can I see anything from this window? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> There's the combo. <laughs> Just being evil in the office. The combination is 12, 34, 22. I can open the safe now. <laughs> Alright. Does Skip have- to oh, Skip's not in here. Alright, let's go. I was gonna say Skip for sure wouldn't let us in. A handwritten note, dear Marcubus. <gasps> Marcubus, thank you for the dona donation. I will, of course, not close down your evil factory. Love, Skip. <laughs> no, Skip's in cahoots with Marcubus. Seems like Skip is in Marcubus' pocket. Not a good place for a mare to be. But back to the case at hand. Skip's handwriting matches the handwriting from the love note. Skip is the secret admirer. I should go inform Shirley that Skip left the flowers. 
You should also inform Shirley to watch her back. Like, Skip's kind of sus. Like, I don't know. I'd, I'd be like, girl, run. <laughs> run, Shirley, run. Hi, Shirley. Shirley, I know who your admirer is. So, what's the deal, hun? Who's my lover boy? Looks like the mayor Skip is the one who left the flowers. Really? Ooh, a man with money and looks? I like it. Surely no. Surely no. But how did you find out it was him? Well, he made it tough. Matching his handwriting to a love note was key. A love note came too. Can I see it? Sure. It had blown into the bushes. He says my eyes are deeper than the moon. I like this guy's style. Well, his style was tough to track down. He certainly didn't want anybody to know it was him. He's shy? Oh, how cute. No, Shirley's taking all the wrong information. Well, cute's a relative term. I mean, he formed a puppet department of our government to cover up his flower purchases, and he... Thanks, Tatiana. No, Shirley. I'm gonna go invite that hunk out on our hot date. No, Shirley. But he's also corrupt, and he's working with Morcubus. Oh, you know what? At least we tried. Well, good luck, Shirley. <laughs> what? Y'all. We gotta hold out. We gotta protect Shirley. Oh, we got more hairstyles. We gotta protect Shirley. Shirley, Shirley can't be doing that. Alright, I think we need to do more ca- Oh! Gino has a case. Oh, Gino's mad. There's fire in Gino's eyes. Hi Gino, how are you? Terrible. You have to help me. Tatiana, I've lost my maps. Maps? Oh, I didn't read that, sorry. Don't worry Gino, I'll find those maps. Do you see the fire in Gino's eyes? Oh, Ta Tatiana, I'm ruined. There was a fire. In your restaurant? Yes, Derek, Shirley, and Patrick were all having dinner. Suddenly, smoke and flames started pouring out of my stove. You were the first out of your restaurant? Yes, but the others soon followed. After the flames died down, I went back in to confirm that I was ruined. <laughs> to confirm it. Not only was my stove destroyed, but my safe was open. <laughs> Someone took my maps. You keep kept maps in the safe? Of course, those maps show the secret locations where I find my arcane herbs and forbidden cheeses. <laughs> How did they get the combination to your safe? I don't log it. <laughs> Gino. Gino, come come on, Gino. <laughs> the long pause looking at Gino. Okay, so either Derek, Shirley, or Patrick cracked your safe during the fire. What evidence can be found at Gino's Pizzeria? Okay. Oh, that's the safe. This must be where the maps were. Did the thief leave behind any evidence of where they went? <gasps> my favorite. Footprints. This was my favorite mechanic in this game when I was a kid. They stopped at the garbage. It's one of Gino's maps. I wonder if the thief discarded any more of the maps as they fled the scene of the crime. Doesn't look like they stopped at that one. Uh oh, the footprints are becoming more faded. Prints are easier to see on the sidewalk than the street. I'll have to remember that surfaces show prints differently. Oh. Oh, they stopped here. Hey, there's a map in this trash can. The thief must have passed this away. Or threw it away? I think it said passed it away, which is interesting way to say that. Okay. Oh. New area. Oh. They stopped at this one too. Hey, one of Gino's maps. Well, it looks like I found Gino's maps. I should return them. 
I don't want to see where this person went. The footprints ended here, but... Looks like the thief climbed over that log. There's something up there to get up to that ledge there. We can follow in those steps. Oh. As long as we don't fall off. <laughs> Whoa. Almost fell off there. What is that? There's a piece of paper stuck on top of this monolith. I'll need to dislodge the paper to see what it says. Maybe my crowbar could do it. <laughs> this crowbar is coming in handy today. It's a letter. Dear Derek, thank you for your delivery. Love, Morgucorp. <gasps> Derek. This note proves that Derek made a delivery to Morgucorp. Was it Gino's maps? Oh, we better go question everyone. Oh, where's everyone? Okay, Patrick. So what happened in there, Patrick? Well, I was digging into a slice of Gino's ultimate meatball pizza, then all of a sudden, there was smoke everywhere. I see. It happened very suddenly. I couldn't even breathe, but I managed to finish my slice on the way outside. What? You finished your pizza even though there was a fire? Meatballs are too tasty to waste, sport. Who needs to breathe when you can eat? <laughs> So, what happened in there, Shirley? I was sitting there, eating my salad, when, when I heard Derek yell out, Fire! Get out! And you left immediately? Dropped my fork and bolted. I've been here ever since. Thanks, Shirley. Good to know. Hmm, let's see. Oh, look at Derek. So, what happened in there, Derek? Buzz off, ancient moron. Derek, you need to answer my questions. I want to learn what caused the fire. Why should I care? Derek, I think this fire might not have been an accident. Your face is an accident. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Agent Face Accident. Nice. Alright, let's tell Gino. Gino, I found your maps. Ooh, fantastico. You're a lifesaver, Agent Tatiana. Oh, but one is missing. My map of the mountains. Fascinating. They... We're only interested in one of your maps, Gino. You see, these had all been discarded. I'm ruined. Gino, this is a solid lead. I'll get to the bottom of this. I wonder if Shirley, Patrick, or Derek are particularly interested in mountains. Alright, let's ask. Heard any news about mountains lately, Patrick? Huh? As a matter of fact, Derek has been going on non-stop about mountains. Is that so? Yeah, a kid must have gotten into snowboarding or something. Thanks, Patrick. Very useful to know. The mountain map was the only one missing, and Patrick says Derek has been interested in mountains recently. Suspicious. Ooh. Where is Derek? Sorry, I like watching them interact. Heard any news about mountains lately, Derek? What? Mountains? Go away, Asian loser. Derek, if you just help me out here for a minute... What do you want from me? I don't know anything about anything. Buzz off. Very competitive for pretty much no reason. Heard any news about mountains lately, Shirley? Mountains on? Hmm. Don't worry, Shirley. If you haven't heard anything, that's fine. Yeah, sorry, on. Nothing comes to mind. No problem. Thanks. Maybe we tell Gino? Oh, don't worry, Gino. I'm on the case. Thanks, Tatiana. I feel better already. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to prove... Oh, the crime scene. Oh, there's more evidence. There's more evidence in here. Hmm. Oh, maybe the where the fire started? The stove is too badly damaged for me to make out what caused the fire. I'll need to repair it before I can learn anything. I should salvage some stove parts from other machines and chinos. A wrench? Oh. Salvage? 
I got a set of spare parts from this gumball machine. Is that all we needed? I can use the set of spare parts from this teeny stove to fix the larger one. Now I can repair the stove. Oh, nice. I used to love this mini game too. Nice. The stove fire was caused by a lack of ventilation. I should tell Gino. Gino, your fire was caused by a lack of ventilation. Your chimneys must be blocked. Impossible. I clean the chimneys all the time. Well, there's something fishy going on. How can I access the chimneys to check them out? Climb the ladder behind my building, but hold the ladder tight, Tatiana. It's slippery with delicious pizza grease. <laughs> I need to climb the ladder to Gino's roof and check his chimneys. I think there is one back here. Okay. I saw it when we got the... the jerky for the dog. For dogwood. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this chimney. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this chimney. Huh? There's a... <gasps> We've seen Derek with a baseball. Huh? There's a baseball wedged in here. Who shoved this baseball into Gino's chimney? Or they started the fire. Oh. <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Does Gino know about it? Gino, this baseball was clogging up your chimney. This is what started the fire. What? That's crazy. I don't even like baseball. Who should do such- who would do such a thing to me and my pizza? That's what I need to find out, Gino. Does anyone play baseball around here? No one. Wait. Yeah, it's lots of people. <laughs> Just last month, that rotten kid Derek put his smelly baseball glove on my nice clean table. Chased him out with a broom. Ooh. Now we have motive. Oh. Look, has a baseball right in front of us. Derek, let's talk about baseballs. What? What are you talking about? I love baseballs. I'll bet you do. So is this your baseball? Yeah, my Vintage Pro 2004 baseball is the one I stuck in the- Nowhere. You're not very good at this whole criminal thing, are you, Derek? Derek uses baseball to start the fire. Was he after the maps, or is Derek just a jerk? <laughs> Derek stole the dang maps. I should go back to Gino's and report the results of my investigation. Gino, that jerk. I've got great news for you, Gino. Gino, I've discovered who stole your maps. So what happened, Tatiana? Who stole my maps? All signs point to Derek being the thief, Gino. What? That Derek is the cause of my ruination? Why? How? Well, it seems that Derek was hired by Morcubus to steal your maps. Derek stuffed a baseball in your chimney to cause the fire. When the fire started, he stole the maps and ran off, dumping the maps along the way that Morcubus didn't want. Then he left your mountain map out in the forest at a pickup site for Morcucorp operatives to pick up. I'm sorry, Gino. I'm afraid there's no way to track the map down any further. Oh, poor Gino. Gino, I want a slice of sausage and pepperoni. And make it quick, I'm busy. Oh, you are banned forever. What? No, I love your pizza, Gino. You can't do that to me. I'm a loyal customer. You will never eat my pizza again. Ever again. Map thief. Oh, man. That was great. I've been wanting a reason to ban him for so long. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, Tatiana. Well, Gino, I guess that's case closed. Oh, man, I feel bad for Gino. Gino's just out here trying to, you know. Oh. Hey, Tatiana, buddy, over here. Gino's trying to make it out here. 
Wait, Buddy doesn't do anything. Why is Buddy getting... Agent Walker. Very impressive work. Who knew that Mayor Rogers was so closely associated with Morcubus? The agency will be keeping an eye on him from now on. We should also figure out why the mountains are so important to Morcu Corp. And we will. But first... You're fired, can you imagine? Tatiana, you're ready now. I am promoting you to the rank of special agent. I'm assigning you to your own headquarters, right here in the city. Our own headquarters? Now Gino can actually use both of his tables, pal. You'll have to take the train to get there. I'll meet you at your headquarters later. I have some agency business to take care of first. Yo, we get our own headquarters. Thank you all so much for watching the first episode of the My Sims Agents series. The next episode will be out very soon. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you're still awake, how you enjoyed this episode, and if there are any other series you'd like me to do. Um, after this one is finished. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to stay safe, and as always, have sweet, sweet dreams of gaming.